Hi there, it's Adam Drummond from WaggaWagga.tv. It's the online TV show about people, places and property. And today, I've got a couple of lads. They've just come from Daniloquin and I'll tell you why in a moment. They're on their way back to Sydney and stopped by little old Wagga Wagga on their way. I'm joined by Lachlan Mitchell. How are you, mate? I'm great, thank you. Thanks nice for coming on the show. No worries, it's my pleasure. And Ishan, thanks yes. for coming, mate. Thank you very much. How are you doing today? Yeah, good, mate. I've got to use this microphone properly, otherwise Grant, the cameraman, gets up me later and says, you didn't use the microphone properly. <laughs> now, um, guys, you are collaborators on AU Review, which is a website dedicated to music. Tell us a little bit about who would like to um, basically go onto that website and why would they like to go on it? Just anybody who is into music. It's just got... You know, uh, gigs every night, reviews, photos, interviews with bands from around the world, all, all week long, all year long. There's no public holidays for... Is it genre specific or is it all, all genres? Absolutely not. Not genre specific at all. Okay. All genres. And, and tell us, what were you doing in Daniloquin uh, for the last couple of days? We were down there for Denny Blues and Roots Festival. It's a two-day festival that started on Saturday. It's in its second year and it was really good. Who were some of the acts? Uh, from Boz Gags to the Doobie Brothers, Edward Sharp, the Magnetic Zeros. They showed a lot of the acts with uh, Byron Bay Blues Fest. Oh, right. And Eric Clapton was there? No, Eric Clapton wasn't. Who, 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 did we mention, who did we mention last night that was one there? Of, one of my favorite was John Mayers and the Whalers. John oh, Mayers. John yeah. Mayers yeah. was there. That's right. Um, okay, so you're on your way back to Sydney now. How long have you been collaborating with uh, AU Review? And, and who are some of the most interesting people that you've uh, come across? Um, I've been contributing to them for about three years now, mm -hmm. maybe three and a half. And in that time I've done festivals and uh, interviews around Australia, I've been up to Brisbane and now down to Daniloquin. And even uh, Sunday night I was fortunate enough to interview Edward Sharp and the Magnetic Zeros right. backstage in their dressing room. So it's always fun seeing the dressing room and what things they have on their riders, what food they have and the smells that are in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bring some of that Atmos in. And, and, uh, and so how do you interview them? Is it, is it, for, uh, is it with a video camera? It's or? with a video camera. My Canon 5D I take pretty much everywhere with me. Right, so you, so you take your own equipment and uh, you're basically contractors for the AU review? Pretty much, yeah. It's exactly how it works. Cool. And so wh where's the best place that you've been for a gig? Oh, it's now... Uh, it doesn't exist anymore, but it was the Annandale Hotel in Sydney. Right. It was this beautifully small hotel very grungy, things were... Uh, very intimate looking. Yeah, it was very, very intimate. Yeah. Some of the right. best nights of my life in gigs were there. Yeah, cool. It's not around anymore though. Who, who performed there that you remember the most? Uh, an American band called Deer Tick. Deer like, Tick. Deer Tick, you don't want to switch the things around. But, um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 they, they, they were really good, the whole place went crazy. It was just, that was awesome. And, and which performer that you've met um, gave you the biggest surprise compared to what you maybe thought they were going to be like and then you met them and you went, wow, I wasn't expecting that? Um, maybe because it's so fresh in my mind, maybe Edward Sharp or Alex Ebert, the front man of Edward Sharp, the other night just uh, in, in the dressing room, he was so graceful and just th thankful so much. Just thank, th thank me so much for being there. So it, was, it was very nice. A lot of humility and you probably weren't expecting it. Exactly. And I've met people like Dave Grohl's the same too. Of the Foo Fighters and Nirvana. Very nice. I saw him, uh, I was backstage once, saw him just sign autographs for everybody who waited around. It was awesome. It, it's a great gig because I've been onto the website and I've seen some of the photos that you've taken. You get really up close and personal even on the stage where you can take some amazing shots of people performing. Is, is it a real buzz and, and, and what do you think you aspire to go to next? It's, it's a huge buzz. You're the closest person to the performers in the entire venue, yep. especially when you're photographing places like All Phones Arena in Sydney, you know, yep. or uh, Sydney Football Stadium. Out of 80,000 people, you're the closest person, so yep. it's great. And that you'll get acts that want to perform for the camera too. So they'll come up and stand over you. I've been spat on before. Oh, so, nice experience yeah, being spat nice. on. <laughs> what a buzz. <laughs> And so what, what do you aspire to um, go to next? What's your next level? What's the plan? I, I'd love to do, as I'm doing now, more travel photography. I'd love to go around the world, maybe more international festivals for myself. Yep, yep. That great. That'd be great. And portraits. I'd love to once in my life, as hard as may be, shoot the cover of a Rolling Stone magazine. Oh, yeah, yeah, we can, we, can, we can all dream. <laughs> um, well, boys, it was great. We had dinner last night. Did you enjoy your dinner at our lovely Tandoori restaurant? It was a wonderful restaurant and wonderful nice conversation. Food. Yeah, really good conversation, very nice food. 
I'm not sure if the people at home know, but you are a huge horror movie fan. <laughs> I am a huge horror. That's all we talked about. It was about, horror movies about basically for two last hours. Hours. <laughs> It was just horror <laughs> movies. <laughs> yeah. It was great. And, the, and you've got a couple to watch. You've got a bit of homework. Yeah, oh, I've got, we I've got too. a long list now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's great. Well, guys, thanks very much for dropping into Wagga Wagga.tv on your way back to Sydney. It's been great having you here. No worries. The town has been so gracious to us. We've met yeah. so many wonderful people. It's been a lot of fun. Just hanging out. Just been really good. And we better give someone a plug because you really liked where you were staying as well. So, you know, feel free to mention where you were. I was set at Cache, just on the main street. Wonderfully new place. All the brand new fittings, brand new furniture, really comfortable bed after the tent. Really good. Yeah. Oh, anything's better than a tent, that's for yeah, sure. Oh, well, <laughs> so cold. <laughs> well, boys, thanks for coming into the studio and, and good luck with your trip. Good luck with your careers as well. And uh, we'll we maybe see you next time. There's a Hopefully, gig on in Wagga. That'd be, that'd be the dream. So. They should invite you back. Oh, well, well, we'll Wagga's we'll been great. Yeah. Wagga's <laughs> been amazing. Thank you so much. Terrific. Well, this is Adam Drummond from WaggaWagga.tv. It's the online TV show about people, places and property. And this one's brought to you by Grant Harper at Livestream Australia and Wagga Wagga Web. See you next time. <laughs>